Jedi Fallen Order is better than the Force unleashed on every level because it's overall more faithful to G-Canon than the Force unleashed is. In the Force Unleashed you play as Starkiller, the bastard son of a Jedi which doesn't make sense as Jedi weren't supposed to have children according to the Jedi Order's tenants. However, I realize that special circumstances were made for other species in the Star Wars universe who had low populations. Kiyadi Mundi's species was an example of this and others such as Sheridhet who had a son called Asheridhet, but normally this shouldn't happen. Fallen Order doesn't have this problem. It deals specifically with remaining Jedi who were victims of Order 66. The game shows us how the Jedi Purge psychologically affected them and makes them so much more dimensional than Starkiller who is just a servant of Vader and only gains characterization by gaining a conscious when he's determined to rescue the rebels who he unwittingly helped capture. What I have the biggest issue with is how Vader and the Emperor are depicted. They aren't as strong in the Force as Starkiller is. Starkiller is stabbed through the chest by Vader and ejected into the vacuum of space to die, which he should have but is magically brought back to life and we are given the bullshit reason that he's been cybernetically enhanced. This is where I've always had the biggest problem with the Force Unleashed. Starkiller is a Garis too. His force powers are so exaggerated and amplified that it calls into question the very need Vader has for Luke in the original trilogy. Why would Vader need Luke when Starkiller is portrayed in the context of the game to be so much more powerful than Luke is? Why doesn't Vader overthrow the Emperor then especially since Starkiller can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Emperor? Seeing Starkiller pull a fucking Star Destroyer out of the sky is a great visual but it reinforces my argument that he's a Garrys too and it pokes holes in the original trilogy. What I always kept in mind to justify the game's canonicity at the time was that as a game it would have to cater to the general public who cared more about kicking ass with the Force than providing a game rich in Star Wars lore while helping to strengthen that lore and not poke holes in it by exaggerating the strengths of the new character at the expense of the classic characters which is something Disney Star Wars has done with Rey. If you're a Star Wars Expanded Universe fan like myself you have to be honest and accept then while the Force Unleashed is fun, it's hard to accept as pre-2012 canon because it weakens the importance of Luke in the original trilogy. Jedi Fallen Order doesn't have such a reckless effect on that pre-2012 canon while providing a great Star Wars experience that feels like Star Wars did prior to the Disney acquisition. This is the only thing that remains faithful to G-Canon Star Wars that Disney has released and as someone so beaten down by Disney's treatment of the Star Wars mythology I was so surprised by playing it that I finished the entire game in three days. I haven't had this feeling for a game, let alone a Star Wars game since 2005 Battlefront 2.